Hi everyone! Today we'll be discussing how to use the image manipulation feature in the Cloudmersive Mendix connector. We're starting out on the home page of our module and from here we'll select the image manipulation option. On this screen, our first step is to select the upload image button, hit browse, choose the image we wish to use from our directory, hit the open button, and then hit save. This will take a moment to bring up our edit image pop-up. All our document information is displayed in the left-hand column, and all our editing features are on the right. So what we'll do now is start at the top and go through the various edits we can make to our photo. Keep in mind that since this is a photo of dogs, certain functions will not be available. Our first function is the rotate function. So let's say we want to rotate our picture 45 degrees. All we need to do is type in 45, click the rotate button, and we'll instantly get our result. You can choose to either confirm or cancel the changes. If you hit cancel, you can see it will revert back to the original orientation, but if we go back in and click confirm, it will save the changes. Our next feature is the resize feature. Here you can see that we can indicate a new width or height for the image while maintaining the aspect ratio. For this example, we will set our width and height for the same amount, click resize, and once again, we can choose to confirm or cancel the changes. As mentioned earlier, we can't demonstrate some functions since we don't have humans in the photo, but the crop face feature can crop an image to a face. If there's more than one face present, you would choose the first one. Next up, is the normalize feature, which is essentially only used for mobile devices. Its purpose is to orient the image to line up with orientation of the mobile device. Now we have our convert image function, which we can demonstrate. What this feature does is convert the file to another file type. For example, our dog image is currently a JPEG, so we can open our drop-down list and select any available type. I'll choose the common PNG format, and hit convert. We can see that our file type is now listed as PNG. Other features that are not applicable for this photo are get text from image, get gender, and get age, which isn't exact but gives you a general estimate. And we also have check number of people. For example, if this was a picture of twins, it would show two people. We also have the Not Safe for Work checker, which quickly scans our image to issue a Not Safe for Work content score. Luckily, our dog image received a perfect score of zero. So that's a basic overview of all the features. Back on the image manipulation page, we can choose to delete or download the photo. If we download it, we can open or save it directly. We also have this custom image workflow option, which we'll check out now. Clicking on the button brings you to a pop-up where you can orchestrate your own custom image manipulation workflow, which will negate the need to click the edit functions individually. This can be particularly helpful if you want a standardized process to handle certain types of pictures. For example, let's say you have an app that allows users to upload profile pictures. You could create a workflow that would resize and rotate the image a certain way each time a profile picture was uploaded. Using the drop-down, you can select the options you want applied to your image. For instance, we can resize the image again. This time, we'll make it bigger. Once we've entered our values, we can select our next function. Let's rotate it again, this time 90 degrees. From here, we can change the order the functions will be performed with arrows on the side. We can also delete or add steps as needed. Once we're satisfied with our changes, we can click the Perform Manipulations button. This will take a second to load, and then it will provide our new result on the dashboard, which we can then download for use. And that's it. We hope this video was helpful Feel free to check out our Cloudmersive Mendix Connector playlist for more video tutorials. Thanks for watching.